So heart disease is a pretty broad, broad term for a significant uh, disease of the heart. Coronary heart disease specifically, though, refers to a narrowing of one or more of the coronary arteries due to a process known as atherosclerosis, which is a gradual furring up uh, of the arteries with fatty uh, deposits. Most patients with coronary heart disease are blissfully asymptomatic, but some patients, particularly when the coronary artery heart disease becomes advanced and, become, and starts to limit the flow of blood to the heart, can experience chest tightness and, uh, or chest pain uh, on exertion. This is known as angina. Yes, sadly, if you've got coronary heart disease, you are going to be at increased risk of having a heart attack or a stroke. But thankfully, you know, healthy living and taking medications that can significantly reduce the risk factors of high blood pressure, high cholesterol, um, hopefully try and prevent diabetes and smoking cessation can significantly reduce that risk. As with all medical conditions, uh, coronary heart disease does have a genetic component as well as a, an environmental and lifestyle influence. For some patients, thankfully a minority, there is a strong genetic and therefore hereditary drive to their coronary heart disease, which is why it's very important for these patients that we take a very good family history so that we can identify them. And because heart disease is so common, it would be very unlikely for any of us not to have some member of our extended family who's had a heart problem. I'm not particularly worried about the odd family member having a heart problem. What we're really worried about are those patients who have a history of early um, coronary heart disease, um, particularly in first degree relatives, so brothers, sisters, parents and grandparents. So by early I mean really below the age of 55 in a male uh, relative or 65 in a female relative, because those sort of family hist histories are likely to represent an underlying genetic sort of drive to early coronary heart disease and they need those members really do need more careful assessment.